Yeah. Did you go through with it already? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. She aborted. That was Anne Lachirzo, the head of the Pregnancy Care Center. Heidi Ewing, how did you get this access inside both clinics? Well, you can't call this one a clinic because they don't provide medical services, but— Well, getting access inside a, a crisis pregnancy center turned out to be uh, difficult. It took uh, many, many months, many phone calls. Uh, I guess maybe it's not surprising to you that um, most pregnancy care centers and CPCs um, were unwilling and uninterested in— um, having being exposed uh, in the publicly uh, so in terms of Anne and why she let us make the film uh, I think that it was a decision that she she, that she rolled the dice they decided to roll the dice and in their mind abortion is so evil that even if we told 30 percent of the truth uh, that an audience would walk away uh, feeling that uh, abortion is is the, is the wrong thing uh, she believes that to be true. She believes it's murder. So she believed that that a story inside a crisis pregnancy center would reveal that truth, what she considers the truth. Um, and I, I believe that's why that's why they let us in. And what about the actual women's health clinic? Well, um, there was a lot of trepidation on the part of the abortion clinic to allow us inside. Uh, not because they had anything to hide necessarily, but because um, they're again they've lived for you know 20 years with a lot of tension and problems with their neighbors, and so uh, there, of course the instinct was to sort of lay low. I believe that Candace uh, decided to let us in because she feels that she's been so maligned and in some ways tortured by the protesters and by her neighbors for so many years that in some way maybe this would um, vindicate her in some way. The reaction of the two centers to this film, mm -hmm. of Anne Lachirzo, who runs the Pregnancy Care Center, of Candace Dye, who runs the Women's World, the mm -hmm. health clinic? Well, um, I think that Candace feels a bit vindicated, in a way. And also, um, Candace runs the abortion clinic. And, um, well, first of all, I think they were both somewhat curious about what happened in the other place. Even though they've been across the street from each other for almost 20 years, neither one had been inside the other place. Um, and so I think it was interesting for them to see what happened. Have they ever met? They have met. They have met. Um, they had a meal once. And um, I would have liked to be fly on the wall for that. But um, they, they just had that one interaction. And then there's been a lot of lawsuits. So they've seen each other in court, et cetera. And they see each other every day. But they are not friends <laughs> at all. Um, and I think Anne has mixed feelings about it. Um, she doesn't have any—she hasn't had any problems with the actual content of the film or as far as accuracy or said anything was untrue or um, slanted, but she has such a passion against the abortion clinic and abortion, I think just—it's hard for her to watch anything that has to do with them, really. What was the response to this film? Oh, well, so far, we've, we've shown it at uh, festivals in the United States so far, and it's a very interesting experience to watch it with audiences. But I think, you know, abortion is definitely the third rail of American politics. It is the most divisive issue, I think, um, that we have out, out here right now, despite all the other problems we have. And audiences are get queasy, they are uncomfortable, they get angry. Uh, it's, it's been a fraught experience showing the film so far. Heidi Ewing and Rachel Grady, filmmakers of 12th and Delaware. Their previous film was Jesus Camp. 12th and Delaware is making its television debut on HBO Tonight at 9 Eastern. An interesting postscript. Very few news outlets have been willing to interview them about this film, 12th and Delaware. Contrast that with Jesus Camp that got blanket coverage. Well, you decide for yourself. Watch HBO Tonight at 9 Eastern. That does it for today's broadcast. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Shufa Dukadus, Aramata Angeli, Kama, Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, Hani Masood, Robbie Karen, Mike DeFilippo, Miguel Naguera, our engineers. Special thanks to Elizabeth Press, Julie Crosby, Nick Gilla, John Gerberg, Samantha Chambly, Jessel Noor, Vesta Godars, and our camera crew, John Randolph, Kieran Krugmeadows, Rockham Penny. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks for joining us.